Hi guys, welcome back to another Little Geeky Reviews. This time we're going to go through the history of the Dalek set number 9. This is Planet of the Daleks, which originally came out in 1973. Within these two sets you have got the Supreme Dalek, but also the Invisible Dalek. Now with the Supreme Dalek, the first release was back in 2008. This time we've got um, a... I mean the first release in 2008, it, the gold effect was a real shocking gold colour. This time we've got a pale gold effect on it. I think the original release was a lot more accurate to be fair. But this one has, on top of the dome, you have got the purple dome lights. Now there is no oval in between the chest plate either with this version. Uh, the ice stalk itself it is quite a large ice stalk. Now it's got the black rings round but the big ball like torch at the end for the eye and it's red with silver as well and a big white type of iris as well. Now Moving all the way down, the detailing on the bin grill, you've got the slats there. Again, it's an absolute stunning little figure. The gun stick has, comes in the grey and the plunger comes in the usual grey. But moving down, it's like, uh, it's not painted black. It's the, uh, the plastic that's making it like that glossy type of finish. But you've got the dusty gold hemispheres on, but also the vendor at the bottom. It really stands out. It is quite large vendor. Now, I do believe on the secondary market, this one is going for quite a lot of cash as well. Especially, I think, if it was the original from back in the 2008. Now, the second... Dalek is this invisible Dalek. Now I believe this wasn't going to be a release because of the way it actually is constructed because you can see the actual join joining of the actual Dalek so where the screws are all going into it. It's even got the like if I bring this up in close you can see possibly the actual grading of it so it's all like numbered but you can see where all like the screw holes are going in there as well and they've used like metal screws now I don't know why they've used the metal they could have used still clear plastic ones and I think it would have done the same job but you may notice as well especially when the light hits on the ice stalk and also the gun arm it's a lot more dull it's not as clear as the Dalek itself now I know plastic colours over time but this was actually like this when it was bought it's more of like a yellowy cloudy tinge on those bits of plastic there now but other than the articulation again the same type of things I'll just pick up the invisible one and show you so the dome itself, twist left and right, the stalk, the eye stalk, up and down, ball joints on the gun arm and the plunger, and then you've got the rotary wheel at the bottom and the static back and forth um, wheels on the back. Now I know when this Invisible Dalek, Dalek was first released, it was also half spray painted to black, now I haven't got that one so I ended up buying two sets of this just to have a little go of a little customization which I need to get round to doing as well just so it has that effect on it but there you go guys there's my little cheeky review for History of the Daleks set number 9 Planet of the Daleks now did you pick this, pick this one up and I know this was, there was no chance of getting, going back, 
basically and buying another set you, if you've seen them on the shelves you'd have to get them one two whatever you felt like I ended up buying two off the shelf because I knew give it a couple of days they would not be there I think if I cast my mind back I think I ended up going to about five B&M stores to try and actually get these as well when they were released it was an absolute nightmare I think I spent more in petrol driving around Liverpool than I did actually buying the set itself but do us a favour guys while you're dropping them comments in drop us a like drop us a sub hit that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any others but thanks for checking on on this little review and i will see you on the next catch you later take care